Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay. Just know that I send you so much love and light and I'm so happy that we have this time together today. And if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Lynn and this is Passion and Heart Tarot and I'm back Leo, I missed you guys. So this is gonna be another love reading for you all for the month of April. So let's take a look and see. You know I like to take a look at the present and see what's going on around you guys. And then we'll ask Spirit to show us what's coming in. All right, but before I do, I just wanna take a moment to invite the white light, the Holy Spirit to the room. All right, Leo. So let's take a look at the present. Let's see what's going on around you right now. How does your love life look? How do things look around you now? You see, you can't really see. How's that better? Okay. So there's some Gemini energy that's going on around you guys. So you might have that in your chart or you could be dealing with someone that does the overall energy that's around you now is someone who's really watching you and looking in looking in on you um there's a lot of sexual attraction that this person feels towards you um there's you guys are disconnected for some of you it is someone from the past and i know that you've had these experiences with them um, that were very significant because that's what this energy represents. It's very significant. It's almost like feeling like you were supposed to go down a path together, create a life together, and something came in and interrupted it. That's what I can see, you know, with this Gemini energy coming in reverse like that. So now what's happening is like there's a definite feeling of a loss and thinking about mistakes that were made um, for whatever this is that came between you guys, because I can see it came between you guys. For some of you, um, it's like a recklessness, like a recklessness. And someone's really thinking about the mistakes that they made because first, there's so many things that I'm hearing from spirit. For some of you, it was a recklessness in the way that this person behaved because the things that they would do wouldn't make any sense and it would just cause a lot of chaos. And like someone kept having to like set it, set things up and it kept getting knocked down. And then they would try again to set it back up and it kept getting knocked down. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is, this is the energy that's here and I can see it's from the past and someone now is thinking about the way that they behaved, thinking about what a mistake that it was. And now they're looking in on you, feeling very sad, um, but still wishing and hoping that they can turn things around because I see the heartache that's there and I see the healing that already has come in. And what this person would like to do for you, Leo, is to make things better because they feel like you belong together. They don't want to be disconnected like this anymore. So what's happening now is like a lot of emotion that this person is feeling for you, thinking about things, thinking about their mistake, thinking about your connection, thinking about your connection on a deep level, not just the physical attraction that I can see that the two of you had because it was something that was unmatched that's important for you to know that this is the way they feel about you the sexual chemistry the intimacy um being able to see eye to eye like this um and then feeling like they ruined everything uh they're they're in a state of being very regretful right now and to be fair this could be how you feel leo this you know this could be how you feel about someone and the mistakes that you've made or cross watcher, you know, this could be your energy, but this is what's here. So what they're doing now is like constantly finding ways to see what's going on with you. 
I mean, this is the overall energy that's around you. A lot of spying, a lot of spying um, and the hopes to try and figure out how to set things on the right path. So if you thought that that, they're, they, that they don't know what's going on around you and they don't look in on you, you have to know what the truth is in that they absolutely do. So it is energy uh, that is flattering. It's important to not take lightly the way that the one with the broken heart feels because I can tell you that they were devastated, you know, at one point in time feeling very sad about the way that things fell apart like that and the disconnect that came between the two of you and the circumstances that came between the two of you. So what's happening now is someone is working on healing past it, recovering and letting go. So it is important for you to know, especially the one who's doing all this spying, that the one that they are spying on, which is you, Leo, I can see where you are like putting things behind you. You know, you don't hold on so tight to that connection because you feel like um, with the way that you were hurt, the best thing to do is to kind of release it and let it go. But you have this person who is watching you and thinking of all the things that they adore about you. They're thinking about how attracted they are to you and they're thinking of the mistakes that they made. They feel like they're going to be able to find a way to set things on the right path. And that might be good news to you to an extent. Because I know that there, when you have such a strong bond like this, I know that there is a hope that you will be able to get things on the right path. Because I know that at one point in time, you felt like this was your person, the person that you were supposed to be with. So that's why I like to look at the present, just to let you know that they are watching you. They absolutely are. And they're thinking of the mistakes that they made. And they're still very attracted to you. They still look at you as the one, the only one. Like I said, it's something that the physical chemistry is unmatched, but it's deeper than that. It's about the person that you are on the inside. It's about the soul that you have. And I know that mistakes were made and there's a lot of regret that they feel about it. And I know that those mistakes were significant because I can see the way that it made you feel. It was not easy to get over what you went through. All right, Leo. So let's take a look and see what is coming in for April or for whenever, whenever you come across this video. You know, there's no expiration date on the energy so let's see what spirit shows us is coming in what i see here is two very very independent it's funny because the magician is at the bottom of both of these decks that speaks to when you have this time apart, right, there's a lot of soul searching because they're thinking about the mistakes that they made, especially about their behavior, because I can see where it was very destructive, kind of like foolish, unnecessary, the things that they would do at times. I can see that. So you know what's happened is that they've grown a lot and they're thinking about what they have to offer you, I see two very, very independent people who are doing well for themselves. And if they make the choice to come together, they could create something very beautiful. So the opportunity is there for you, Leo, if you are considering giving this person another chance. Because I can see where the two of you are happy in the place that you are which is a good thing because i know you care about this person and you want them ultimately you do i know they put you through a lot but it's not like you wish any ill will against them you want them to feel like they can take care of themselves like they are independent like they have everything that they need the both of you are in a very similar energy that's what i can see coming in 
And it's about feeling like you don't need anyone, but the idea of having something with them would be very beautiful. And I can see that if you were to come back together, you have a lot of harmony that the two of you could create. Things look very stable. They look very stable. And for those of you that are single, it's important for you to know the way that you are coming across to others is you are very beautiful, very attractive, like you have everything going for you. And when people look at you, they think about, you know, everything that you have to offer. And I can see that there's a lot of abundance coming in for you, Leo. But it's not without its work. It's not without its dedication. It's not something that's just going to be magically fixed between you and this person. It is about the two of you acknowledging what you can both bring to the table and acknowledging what you could have done differently before so you don't repeat mistakes from the past. That's what I can see. That's why, you know, these energies are very similar to me because it's about being independent, have everything, having everything you need on your own, feeling very loved and, and confident. And it's like to come together, this would only enrich your life. It's not something that you need. So it's beautiful to see that there has been a lot of growth on both ends, not only yours, but this person's as well. So they do have a lot more that they're bringing to the table now. And I can see where the chemistry is still there, especially, you know, physically because of the way that they look at you. Nine of Pentacles is very significant to me because it's, it's funny because I know that she looks funny, you know, her clothes, but in her time, she was someone who he or she, I should say, but it's a feminine energy. This is a person that dresses very well, that carries themselves with class, who is intelligent, who um, creates their own abundance and doesn't need help from anyone. They're very independent. And they're nurturing as well. They're generous. And that's not something that they mind sharing with those that are around them. So I know that is the true nature of a Leo. So that's what I can see coming in for you guys. It's beautiful. It's about coming back together, creating stability. Ten of Pentacles, I mean, with this nine and ten of Pentacles, is it's very positive energy because it's about creating harmony, stability, and something that can turn into a long-term commitment and you reach milestones with this person. It's about, you know, I mean, coming together, starting a family for some of you. And it's something that if you, if if you claim the energy and you realize that it's here, this is a person that has changed. And what they're bringing now to the table because they are in a much better place is something that you could create. This is like a generation after generation. So it is, it's important for you to know that that is what the two of you could have together. And I know at one point in time, you had those hopes for the future. So it's about two very independent energies who, if they work hard and, and not only work hard on themselves, you know, it is important to take responsibility for what you can attribute to the, to the relationship, to the commitment, and then also acknowledging past mistakes that is necessary. But I can see where the both of you are in like a changed mindset where you've grown up so much that you will be able to do it. It's beautiful because I know that someone in this connection could be your person, Leo, needs a lot of love and a lot of affection and a lot of attention. But it's something that they used to rely on you for. And if you couldn't give it to them, then you were like at fault, which is that's unfair because this is someone who needs to find the love from within 
and I can tell you that they have worked on themselves a lot. I want to take a look at this Ten of Pentacles here because Ten of Pentacles is it's about stability. It's about long-term stability, not only financially, but, you know, when two people come together and they create a family, that's, that's what this energy here is. I want to look at this. I mean, wow, you guys have something very, very beautiful coming in. I know that with the way that your heart was broken and you had to heal, you had to overcome it. It's not a mistake to give this person another chance. And now I'm, and again, I'm going to say this because I, I know that some of you feel like I'm talking about someone bad. I'm not talking about like any psychopath that you've dealt with in the past or like some narcissist that ripped you apart and destroyed your life. You know, and this is for cross watchers as well. This is about someone that you were with before. You had a very special connection with them. The energy had to come in and separate the two of you. That's why the lovers was in reverse because you both had growing that you needed to do to ultimately come back together again. So I know that they put you through some ups and some downs, but I know that the highs by far outweigh the low points that you had in the relationship. And there's there's not an air of resentment that's here. There's an air of reflection, looking back and thinking about things. So if you are watching this and and you know thinking that I'm telling you to get back with someone who cut you so deeply that it that it was like belittling and demeaning. That's that's not who this reading is about, okay? So I just, I just have to say that. I just have to say that that is not who this is about. This is about someone that you felt a very deep and spiritual connection with and like the circumstances of life and making mistakes in their behavior came and separated the two of you because I know that a lot of growth needed to happen, okay? And what you have coming in is something that's absolutely beautiful. To see these tens repeating like this, if you were to give this person another chance now that you guys are in this space of being very independent and able to take care of yourselves, you would not regret it because the energy that's around you that's coming in is about reuniting. It feels very euphoric. It feels like everything's fallen into place. You'll see a change in them and they'll see a change in you. And it's something that if you are willing to put in the work and, and a lot of the work I mean is about self-reflection because I know that's not always the easiest thing to do for us to look at ourselves and think about you know, the mistakes that we've made and what we could have done differently, it is easier to look at the other person and kind of put the blame on them for things falling apart. So that is the work that will be required here. And if you do it, you have something that's that's beautiful. I mean, some of you are going to, I mean, get engaged to this person. That's what this, because 10 of cups is like marriage. And this is, um, an established household of family happiness. So that is what is coming in for you, Leo. That's what's coming in. And you guys, it's beautiful because you've, you had to separate in order to build yourself back up. This person had to build their self back up. And it's like two very independent energies that aren't going to interfere with one another. Because I know at one point in time, the two of you coming together before you were ready, it's like your lives your lives intertwined in a way that was very chaotic. It was hard for you and for your person to like maintain your own identities in the connection because the bond was very deep. I can see, you know, that's what that that's what that Gemini energy is. It's about like coming together and almost being one, but it wasn't productive because it's like you became one thing and weren't able to be yourself in the connection. But now that time has passed and you've both grown up so much, it a significant change has occurred. If you embrace it, you won't regret it. I mean, this is just about as happy as you can be. This These are like wishes coming true and being fulfilled. So you definitely have 
wishes in love that are going to come true, wishes in finances that are going to come true, and wishes in like the stability of a relationship and of a household. So Leos are very, very blessed right now. And for those of you that are single, and, and this is not a person from the past that you want to come back around, when you meet this person, you'll find that you are very similar in your independence and what you can bring to the table. And when you connect with someone who is, because these are equals to me, when you connect with someone who is an equal, you'll create something that's absolutely beautiful. So for those of you um, that are single and meeting someone, you're going to fall in love with them. You're going to fall in love and then you're going to start to think about something long term and what you could really make together. Because to see this as the overall energy, this magician, that's about things that you wanted and been thinking. It's about manifesting and finally seeing those manifestations come to fruition in a very literal way. So just know, Leo, that the energy that's around you, that's com that's coming in, it's important for you to claim it, to align yourself, to receive it, because if you do, and if you remain in an, in an optimistic energy, you have something very beautiful, very beautiful that's going to come in. Okay, I'm going to take a look at this Eight of Pentacles, because this is like a blockage that's here. And again, it's about the hard work, but... The hard work is mostly looking at yourself and, th and thinking deeply about mistakes that you made from the past that you don't want to repeat. And I know that's not an easy thing to do, especially with the way Leos can be very prideful. So I know that that's not easy. And I understand because I'm a Leo myself, so I know how that feels. And we have some Pisces energy that's coming through. So you guys could have Pisces in your chart or be dealing with the Pisces. But I'm telling you um, that the way that they're watching you now, that's only going to continue. So what I will tell you about this connection is the two of you. And that's for those of you that are reuniting with someone. Because I know the way that things came apart before you might be very leery and hesitant about opening up. So I see the energy where the, it's not only you, Leo, but it's this person as well that's going to be like watching every little thing that you do. Um, and it's like because they don't want to be vulnerable and you don't either. So just know that when you come together, it's something that you will have to work on. And it's something that the two of you are going to be watching, like what the other one does, like really taking mental notes. But I tell you that you're not going to be disappointed when you watch this person closely. And when they watch you closely, you know, you're going to do it in a way that's secretive where they don't know that you are analyzing like every last little thing that they do because you don't want to be hurt again. And that's what this person is going to do as well. But it's beautiful what comes out of it because, you know, kind of scrutinizing things in your mind and not saying it, you're going to be pleasantly surprised at what you see and the amount of work that they're willing to put in. And I know that that in turn will make you want to do the same because what's what's happening is like a huge realization and a, a great deal of stress relief coming in. You have communication coming in and it's to set you guys on a path where if you embrace it, if you embrace it, uh, you have something that's beautiful. All right. A lot of, a lot of wish fulfillment, something that you wanted to fix, Leo, is going to be fixed. A connection that you've been longing to come back together is going to come back together. I mean, you guys just have a lot of positivity around you. And for those of you that are single the way that I can see, because it's very, very independent energy, um, you know, single and not thinking about someone from the past, your manifestations are coming in. All right, Leo. I mean, wow, you guys just have you guys have the most beautiful readings. 
all the time and i'm very happy to see that energy for you i love you guys so much you know with everything that's going on in the world just stay safe and try to be positive that's what i'm doing i send you all much love and light and thank you for everything leo i will talk to you soon